Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Well, that's not quite accurate. Welcome back to a kitchen table, as you can see by the fact that it is both a different colour and clean and nothing in the background. It's not my kitchen table because we are travelling and we've come to stay with some relatives for a couple of days. Um, so I thought though, you know, I'd better do a video and there's some news which is breaking, which there is. Before we go any further, of course, as we always do on this channel, Every video must start with the beverage of choice for that video uh, and some Corona extra Mexican beer. So um, cheers. Mm. Yes, sorry, um, very tidy and no quads in the background, um, but I did find a duck. So the news, um, new firmware for the uh, Phantom 2s and new apps for the Visions 3.08 is now with us. Um, I'm obviously not going to have a chance to test it because I don't have my stuff with me. But um, I've obviously gone through the um, through the feature list, and I'm just going to pick some some highlights. And perhaps you guys who are able to download it, if that's what you want to do, can let everybody else know how it's working for you. So some highlights that I thought: one, a feature that people have been asking for for ages, the ability to change the return to home altitude, which is going to be available through the uh, assistant software and also via the app if you have a vision. Hurrah! I hear thousands and thousands of you shouting because that's been a very much asked for feature. Um, another uh, feature that um, I was discussing on this channel just the other day. Uh, additional features to the smart battery. A new auto discharge feature to address the issue of fully charged batteries swelling when they've been stored for an extended period because, you know, uh, unlike the traditional LiPo, we don't have a way to easily discharge ours. You can't plug them into a balance charger or anything. So that's going to be interesting. Also, there have been some concerns, haven't there, in the past about bad cells um, in the smart batteries. Uh, occasionally, there was a batch which had them a while back. So it looks like within the, um, the Vision app, there's going to be a bad battery cell warning. So if it detects battery cell issues um, you will get a specific warning about that rather than a generic oh, there's a problem which is very useful um, there's also going to be um, um, a, a log it looks like a history of the battery so this is all going to build up a picture of use and I think could be very useful if you have any concerns that your battery is not performing under as it should do under warranty you can collect all the evidence you need there so that's really interesting uh, and uh, that coupled with that, it looks like there's going to be a new balancing algorithm to keep them in balance and keep everything healthy. All good stuff. Um, the other thing, which is a brand new feature, a dynamic home point. So if you're using your vision, um, uh, vision app and the device that you've got it on has a GPS, then it looks like the home point is going to reset every two seconds to the position of the GPS enabled device. So if you are following, if you um, uh, a lot of people I know were talking about boats. If you've got if you're in a boat, you know, and that, if there's a problem, it's going to go back to where you were. Not anymore. If you set it up to do so, it looks like it will follow you and reset. Sorry, not follow. It will reset the home point every two seconds. So that if there's a fail-safe scenario, you're only going to be two seconds behind uh, where you were, which could be a bit of a saver for some. Uh, the other thing is some tweaks to the um, to the map uh, view on the waypoints. I think it actually dynamically changes the maximum range based on battery life rather than just the distance. Um, some pre-flight checklist has been included, which is a nice little touch, especially for beginners, and something that you might remember from the live Q and A that Ed Windham of DJI did for me with us on the channel. Uh, he he let slip in that accidentally that you know there's checklists to look at. We all kind of afterwards scratched our head and went, we haven't got those. Now we know what version of the app he was testing back then. Um, and propulsion system performance enhancements is a generic term I've seen. So who knows? We'll have to see about that. Um, and some changes in the descent profile. If it's coming down in an automatic landing mode, like after a fail safe or you know, at the end of a mission or whatever, then if it's below 10 meters above ground, above its ground height, it will reduce the rate of descent down to 0 0.6 meters a second, which is a very, you know, a very real crawl. I think that's to overcome that sometimes you get that bouncing landing profile. 
So we'll see how that works. As I say, I'm not going to be able to test that for a while. If anybody else uh, wants to and report to the rest of us how it goes, that's great. But that's 3.08 released now, uh, available for download from the site and the Vision apps, uh, also updated across the two operating systems. If anyone's got any feedback, let us know. Let us know how it goes. If you're going to be an early adopter and get in there, great. And if not, like like me, if you're not able to or you don't want to, we'll sit back and watch uh, watch the reports of uh, how it's going coming in. Just thought I'd let you know as soon as I did. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I will see you again soon back on the proper kitchen table. Until then, cheers. <laughs>